Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing a video today on changing my hair color. Right now it is a kind of red, kind of brownish hair color and I've had this color for about a year and recently on Instagram I saw a girl um, and I'll link her Instagram below um, who had this gorgeous red color and she got everything at Sally's so I decided that I was going to try and get the exact same hair color so I went to Sally's and I bought the L'Oreal Excellence High Color Highlights in Magenta and I got a Ion Cream Developer it's 32 volume it says 30 in her video but this is what I had so this is what I'm going to use and I'm going to go ahead and dye my hair. Now, for the L'Oreal High Color Highlights, it is a 1.2 ounce bottle. So the bottle is like this big. It's probably a little bit smaller than a normal size um, bottle that you get from Sally's. And for this 1.2 fluid ounce of color, it says to mix 2.4 fluid ounces. So obviously I have a lot of hair and it's really thick. So I went ahead and I already measured out my developer in a bottle. Um, and I put 5 ounces of that in here. Um, just so that I didn't have to worry about doing it already. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a bottle instead of a brush and a bowl. Just because it tends to go a little bit faster. And I don't really want to have to have my husband come in here and help me do the back of my head. Um, I can do it a little bit better with the bottle and everything. And now I'm going to pour two tubes of the L'Oreal High Color Highlights into that and shake it and develop it and do my hair. <laughs> and I have already um, put uh, Vaseline around my hairline and around the back of my neck so that it doesn't die because I have heard that this stuff can really dye your skin. So I'm going to use gloves and I already have an old t-shirt. Obviously you can see it's one that I've used to dye my hair before with. And I'm going to squeeze the tube into the bottle. And I just decided that I was ready for a change. Normally I have this really pretty reddish brown color in my hair. And I really want to do something brighter, but I didn't want to have to bleach my hair because that can be really damaging. So I decided to do this instead. So I just got out of the shower after I 
left the hair color on my hair for about 40 minutes and I'm about to take the towel off and show you what color it is now that I did the magenta and this is the color oh my hair's a little crazy and I kind of brushed it a little bit and obviously it will look better in the light but this is what it is now versus what it was before and you can kind of see like the roots how it will look and I will do a video after I um, blow dry it or let it air dry and style it but this is magenta l'oreal high color highlights Alrighty, I am back and as you can tell my hair has been dried and I did style it and I will say two things. So first thing I noticed is that yes, my roots and my ends might be a little bit brighter than the, sec the middle section of my hair and that's normal because your hair takes you know the roots and the ends first. Um, so in a couple days I might go back um, after this is kind of faded a little bit and re touch the center part of my hair but other than that I love this color I'm very happy with it it came out super super bright just like the box and I'm very happy with it um, and <laughs> they are 100% right it does stain there is a couple spots on my sink as you can see right here where the color got on it and it definitely stained it so I'm just going to have to take some bleach or, you know, some kind of color remover and get that off. But other than that, I just wanted to say that this is color. This is how it came out. And overall, I love it. And as you can see, my scalp and all up in the front of my hair are completely dyed. So hopefully this fades in a couple days. But other than that, I'm not worried about it. I like it. And I just wanted to um, show the final, you know, portion of my hair so that you guys could get a good look at it.